you're watching a very special edition of Cybernet with me, Lucy Longhurst. It's time to get excited as we count down the 10 greatest games of the 20th century. It's classic, it's genius, it's Cybernet. Round one, fight! We begin our rundown of the top 10 greatest games of all time with Super Street Fighter 2 at 10. The game first appeared on the SNES and was an instant classic. It was transferred to every console and computer format available and even ended up on the Game Boy. But what made it so special? Well, it was the very first truly perfect arcade conversion to a home machine. Every special move and feature that you could find on the coin-op, you could find in the SNES version. Many tweaked titles followed, including Street Fighter Turbo, Street Fighter Zero and Street Fighter Alpha, with new characters and even more moves. But it was the combination of imaginative characters, spectacular moves, serious joypad acrobatics and perfectly balanced opponents who had their own strengths and weaknesses that made the game stand out. Towards the end of Street Fighter's fame, there was even a terrible Street Fighter the movie game based on the awful film, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, Kylie Minogue and a host of nobodies. Oh dear, we prefer to remember the original in all its glory. In 1993, if you didn't know your dragon punch from your spinning bird kick, you were finished. A classic! <laughs> Let's count down Cybernet's top 10 greatest video game characters ever. In at 10 is the oldest and greatest monkey in the history of video games, the mighty Donkey Kong. At 9 is the round yellow chomper himself, the ever hungry Pac-Man. He may be paper thin, but that dog sure can rap. Parappa the Rapper is at number 8. This man has only appeared in one game, but we know a true hero when we see one. So Solid Snake sneaks into our chart at seven. He's the most famous Pokemon around. The cute but deadly Pikachu is at six. One of the fastest game characters ever, the spiky blue Sonic the Hedgehog races into fifth place. In fourth comes the toughest hard man in video games, the unstoppable Duke Nukem. He's a mighty pirate. Well, not really, but Guybrush Threepweed is the king of adventure games, so he takes third place. Posh adventure seekers don't come any better than this. The thrilling Lara Croft takes second. But at number one is the man who can drive a cart, play golf, rescue princesses and even fix the plumbing. Who else but masterful Mario? Our ninth greatest game ever is The Curse of Monkey Island with Guybrush Threepweed. It starts with Guybrush's true love, Elaine, being seduced by the evil zombie pirate, LeChuck. Let's face it, LeChuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Unfortunately, Elaine gets turned into a gold statue and stolen. It's up to Guybrush to search the Caribbean in order to find her again and somehow break her terrible voodoo curse. This is the third game in the hilarious Monkey Island series and all three titles are classic adventure games. However, we chose The Curse of Monkey Island for inclusion in our chart as it also features some of the greatest cartoon graphics that we've ever seen on the PC. The game features some incredibly challenging puzzles, memorable characters and jokes that will make you laugh out loud. Quite simply, this is the most flawless puzzle-based game that we've ever played. The time has come to step into the arena and revisit Tekken 3, which is in 8th place. Fans of Tekken 2 thought that it couldn't possibly be improved until they saw the variety of new characters and moves that Tekken 3 has to offer. Although at first glance this sequel may have looked like its predecessor, the action was a lot quicker and the characters far more detailed. Together, this made for some super smooth gameplay which required incredibly quick reactions. What 
made Tekken 3 stand out from the crowd of other fighting titles was its attention to detail. It offered many different gameplay modes, including the side-scrolling Tekken Force and the bizarre volleyball game Tekken Ball. Each character had a unique style of combat for you to learn, and this kept gamers occupied for months. Tekken 3 was a classic Namco title, and if you wanted the fastest, smoothest, coolest combat title around, then it had to be our eighth greatest game of all time, Tekken 3. Back to our chart now, and if one game was responsible for making role-playing adventures a popular success, then it would have to be Final Fantasy VII. Its appearance on the PlayStation and the PC showed a reluctant audience just how breathtaking turn-based combat could be. The secret of its success lies in its storytelling. With a host of intriguing characters to meet along the way, Final Fantasy VII leads you through a truly epic saga. Along the way, you'll hone your fighting skills with an ever-increasing inventory, making for some explosive battles. Though you're put on a set path and can never really change the course of events, there are so many secrets and hidden features in the game that you find something new every time you play. With a beautiful musical score to complement the graphics, Final Fantasy VII is an incredibly immersive adventure and richly deserves its seventh place in the all-time top ten. Formula 197 seemed realistic and detailed. V-Rally, we thought, was exciting and highly playable. But suddenly, they all seemed prehistoric compared to the one racing game that redefined the entire genre. I'm talking, of course, about Gran Turismo. To begin with, there's a choice of 250 cars, ranging from a second-hand Nissan to a specially developed Aston Martin. Every one has been beautifully designed, making them the most lifelike motors we've ever seen. The simulation mode showed the sheer depth of the game. You must, for instance, gain driving licenses to enter the various competitions. You could then win money to buy and upgrade cars, as well as tune and refine your existing vehicle using a host of different options, and even take a trip to the car wash. But above everything else, it's the accurate handling that truly amazed us. Every single car drives differently and realistically, making them feel and respond exactly like the real thing. Racing has never been so impressive. Gran Turismo is a fantastic game that revolutionized the genre, and we at Cybernet think that it's the sixth greatest game of all time. Welcome back to part two of Cybernet. Our fifth favourite game of all time features none other than the super spy James Bond 007. Over the years, several different actors have taken on the role of the smooth-talking secret agent, but when GoldenEye 007 arrived on the N64, many gamers realised that they were the best Bond ever. GoldenEye 007 was a Doom-style first-person blaster, but it included many of Bond's gadgets and weapons, and this is what made it so special. Just like the movies, you had a vast array of weaponry at your disposal, from huge tanks to a laser beam that you could operate using your wristwatch. Another outstanding feature was the excellent multiplayer option. Here, up to four players could enter one of 11 specially designed areas. You could decide on the length of each game, which weapons to use, and even get a rating at the end. Few film licenses deliver excitement of this quality in console form, but GoldenEye was definitely an exception. This game is a classic, and for some people, it'll be the N64's greatest game ever. Other titles may come along and push it from its perch, but GoldenEye is certainly a diamond that'll last forever. Moving on now, and our number four is the first-person shoot-em-up that kick-started the entire genre, the fantastic Doom. 
It's impossible to overstate the impact that Doom had on PC gamers. It wasn't just its 3D graphics, its terrifying monsters, or its fiendish traps and puzzles. For many, Doom was simply the ultimate gaming experience. Each level was meticulously planned by its programmers to provide the most fun by giving players just the right amount of weapons, ammunition, and health to get them through. Doom oozes atmosphere, and even though you often can't see the monsters, you can hear their growls coming from the darkness. Then they suddenly appear, making you jump for your life. Doom 2 had even more levels and better weapons, like the BFG that could wipe out an entire room of monsters at once. Even today, five years later, the Doom titles play brilliantly and there's hardly a game around that can match them for sheer excitement. We turn our attention now to one of the best games of 1999. Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid, to be precise. We've got a few secrets to help you get even more out of this PlayStation classic. Complete the game, rescuing Otacon, and make sure you save when prompted after the end sequence. Restart the game using the same file, and you'll find something rather useful amongst your equipment. Stealth camouflage. With this handy little gadget, you'll be able to make yourself invisible, giving you the opportunity to play a few tricks on those guards. Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Complete the game rescuing Meryl, and you'll find another goodie in your backpack. Wearing this special bandana, you'll never run out of ammunition. We're just about out of time. Hang on, there's more. If you manage to complete the game both ways using the same file, when you play a game, Snake will be wearing a fancy tuxedo, all set to celebrate the new year in style. Against such well-dressed opposition, Metal Gear doesn't stand a chance. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time could be the best N64 game ever. Like Final Fantasy VII, it uses a brilliant blend of graphics, an involving storyline and a simple interface to attract many casual gamers who normally ignore such in-depth role-playing adventures. As the young boy Link, you have to embark on a quest to save the young princess Zelda and defeat the evil tyrant Ganondorf. To do this, you travel through the mythical world of Hyrule, a truly massive environment containing a host of monsters, beautiful locations and diverse characters. Together with its perfect blend of fighting and exploring, the game also contains a host of innovative features. For instance, instead of just pressing a button to cast spells, you have to play a tune on an instrument called an ocarina. More than any other game, Legend of Zelda shows us exactly how good the N64 can be. Let's hope the sequel arrives soon. Cast your mind back to October 1993 to the original title that took the video games world by storm, Super Mario Kart. What probably made this game such a winner was its sheer playability. The controls were very responsive, the difficulty levels were just right, and most importantly, it was a whole lot of fun. Starring all the Mario Land regulars, but in go-karts, the aim of the game was simply to win the race by whatever means necessary, whether this involved outpacing your rivals or blasting them off the track. Upgrading the game for the N64 meant that new features could be added. Apart from racing in true 3D, new obstacles such as traffic now hinder your path. The N64's extra controller ports mean that either two or four players can now race each other in both the Battle and Grand Prix modes. With so many racing games on the market, Mario Kart was a breath of fresh air on any console. Despite its age, we have no hesitation in calling Super Mario Kart our second favourite game ever.
And now, Cybernet's greatest game of the 20th century is the incredible Half-Life on the PC. Unlike many titles in its genre, Half-Life has a truly amazing single-player mode. Controlling a character called Dr. Freeman, the game begins with you arriving at the Black Mesa Research Complex, where you work as a top scientist. Unfortunately, as you're conducting one particularly risky experiment, something goes wrong, and suddenly your world becomes a dark and dangerous place. And that's basically why Half-Life has become such a classic. Not only does it have a fantastic plot, but the story develops seamlessly and intelligently. <laughs> I got another one. With great graphics, some of the best sound effects we've ever heard, and characters that you can interact with, you soon start to feel you're part of a film rather than a game. Whilst its multiplayer mode may not have the same depth as the normal game, it's definitely as much fun. With its vast array of imaginative weapons and some brilliantly designed levels, it soon became one of the most popular games on the internet. Half-Life is one of those rare titles that actually makes you jump out of your chair. Scary, challenging, but above all great fun, we at Cybernet regard it as the greatest game ever. Well, those are our favourite games from the 20th century. Here's looking forward to the best that the 21st century has to offer. Don't forget you can always try our competition to win a PC. Until next time, here are more of the classic movie sequences from Tekken 3. We'll see you next time on Cybernet.